everyone, my name is Devika Deka and I am a student of class 9 and today I am going to tell a short story on quadrilaterals to explain its few properties. Once upon a time there was a village named Geometry Village. There was a family who lived in that village. The quadrilateral family had four members, Mother Rhombus who had four concurrent sides and had three children, Kite, Parallelogram and Rectangle. Kite had two pairs of equal length sides but they are opposite to each other instead of being adjacent. She enjoyed putting on fabric and flying high in the sky. Parallelogram also had two pairs of equal length sides, but they are opposite to each other instead of being adjacent. And she was extremely popular in geometry village. But their younger brother rectangle was always depressed because he thinks his four right angles are ugly. But no one in his family thought this. But one day the quadrilateral siblings were going to see another baby quadrilateral in their family. And when Rectangle saw his younger brother for the first time then, everyone said that he is so beautiful. He has four right angles like his brother Rectangle and four congruent sides like his mother Rhombus. And they named him Square. From that day onwards, Rectangle was always happy. Thank you. This is Pratim Sohoria and I am from Gurukul Group of Educational Way. Today I am going to tell a story about quadrilaterals. So there is a village and uh, lived a person named Hari. He had two children, Ram and Shyam. Uh, they were living in a rural area that, and does not have enough facilities. So they were living in a big uh, plot of area in the shape of parallelogram. Um, Hari want to, loved to plant trees, so he planted different types of trees in the plot of land. As the plot of land was very big, he planted different plants in the center line of the plot also. Uh, gradually, Hari is becoming old and he regularly told his children not to settle outside and stay in the uh, place that they were living from long years ago as the place was owned by their great-grandfathers. Uh, after some years, Ram became doctor and Shyam became an architect. Um, they both were married and they have both one one uh, ch children. Uh, Anuj is the child of Ram and Rahul is the child of Shyam. Um, uh, after some months, Hari died and Ram and Shyam thought to make a hospital in the uh, plot of land as there is a lot of lots of lost uh, not of very available hospitality in the village so they thought to make a hospital in the plot of land but the pro problem was that that if they div uh, divide the land vertically then either uh, either the house or the hospital have to face uh, toward the uh, main road or if they divide the plot of land horizontally then most of the trees that his, their father have grown should be cut down so they were in a very huge problem then after some months Anuj the child of Ram got an idea he told their parents that if they divide their plot of land in a diagon diagonally then it will divide into a two congruent triangle the idea was favored by all his family members and they do that that uh, Anuj said after some years, the whole plan was completed and Ram and Shyam live happily in half one half side of their plot of land and other half there they build a hospital and help several people in the village. So thank you and have a nice day. Hi everyone, here I am Arvind Jitikashar from class 9 Gurukul Baba Educational Wing and today I am going to tell a story question on maths. So let's begin. So here is a school principal who wants to divide his school into two different campuses. The school campus is in the form of square and the principal wants to divide the school campus into two equal triangles. So he marked the corner of the square field as A, B, C and D. After that he make a diagonal AD in the square field. But his confusion is that angle D is also bisected by AD or not. For clearing his confusion, he asks an other member of the school. The other member explains him by saying that ABC is a quadrilateral in which angle A is bisected by AD and angle CAD is equal to angle ABD because after that he explained that they are alternate interior angles and after that in the second term he explained that angle DAD is also equal to angles, angle CDA because they are also alternate interior angles so after seeing the first two equation we can conclude that angle DAC is equal to angle BCA and, and angle BAC is equal to angle DCA so hence we can conclude that angle B is also bisected by AD and by this way the member explained the principle about the dividing of the land. So thank you here my story question and hope you like. Hello everyone, I am Ankita Manchal and I am here to tell a story on the topic of rhombus. Sheila and Vita 
are twin sisters and both are in ninth grade. They are now with the chapter quadrilaterals. The teacher has explained the chapter very nicely. Sheila has understood the chapter properly, but Rita has not understand the concept how the opposite angles are equal in a rhombus. And she was frequently asking Sheila to explain it to her. Sheila tried to explain her by drawing the diagrams, but she failed. Suddenly, she noticed a carpet which was lying on the floor of their room. The shape of the carpet was a rhombus. One idea came to her mind that it will be easy to make Rita understand with the help of a real example. She took Rita to the room and marked the rhombus shaped carpet ABCD that has AB parallel to CD and BC parallel to AD. Then she started to explain Rita that if we join the two points B and D, then two triangles will form, namely triangle DAB and triangle BCD. Now we need to see that these triangles are congruent or not. So in triangle DAB and triangle BCD, AD is equal to BC and AB is equal to CD. As in rhombus, all sides are equal. And next, DB is equal to DB as it is a common side. So we can say that triangle DAB is congruent to triangle BCD by side 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 rule. So we can also conclude that angle DAB is equal to angle BCD. Uh, which is opposite which are opposite to each other by CPCT. Similarly, angle ADC is equal to angle ABC by the same CPCT. So the opposite angles in a rhombus are equal. Rita listened to Sheila with her full concentration and she understood this concept clearly. The way Sheila explained was very interactive and later on Rita thanked Sheila for clarifying her doubts. Once upon a time, there were four friends. They all lived in the same village. Every day, they all went for a walk in the evening time. One day, they all went to a field which was in the shape of square and uh, thought to conduct a race amongst them. So they all started to run from uh, four different corners of that field and meet at the midpoint of that field. Then uh, they discussed uh, who came first amongst them and what distance they traveled. So after discussion, they came to know that two of two, uh, two of them came first, who were coming from uh, two different opposite corners, and other two friends came late because the sides of the field were equal, but the diagonals are not equal. Though the diagonals bisected each other at right angle, so two pairs of the uh, four friends who were coming from two. Uh, Two opposite corners had uh, covered equal distance and the square type of field uh, is known as rhombus in geometry.